But I remember when I was decreeing all those promises, I felt a burning on one side of my body. To me, that's what happens when an angel walks in the room to bring me a message or to do something. So I, I turned to you and I said, okay, an angel's here right now. He's brought us a message. And he's also list, hearkening, the angels hearken to the voice of his word. He's hearkening to those promises. And you went, I just saw, and repeated <laughs> again. The dead bodies in bags. And then these hornets are coming out. I mean, massive. Yeah, you big. said the, you saw an angel pierce the body bags with the sword. That's right. And, and then, then the hornets. The hornets came out of the bags. When you said that, I about went out of my skin. And then they came out of the bags, and they were, like, hovering over the top of the bags. And I'm like, what in the world is that? That is absolutely amazing. Oh, Shoot. that's why we put on Do Not Disturb. Yes. <laughs> okay, so... Wherever the dead bodies are is because the hornets have been there. Yes. To slay the enemies. And they also come out of the area. They also come to the areas of death and hover over the areas of death to drive that out. We're going to, let's read more of the promises. Okay. Okay, so we just read that Deuteronomy scripture. And uh, I love it. That's 720. Read it again and then we'll read the next one. Go. Moreover, the Lord your God will send the hornets among them until those who are left and hide themselves from you are destroyed. Now, this is directly connected, guys, to the hornets driving out the hidden enemies mm -hmm. that are left over in your promised land. How do I know? Because in that same chapter, verse 1, it says, When the Lord God brings you into the land, you are entering to possess and plucks away the many nations before you. The Hittites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Pezrites, the Hevites, the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. Then he talks about how the hornets will go and drive them out. Now, that's the kings I saw in my vision. Were all the kings of the pagan nations that Joshua had to drive out. They were holding the inheritance of the Israelites yes. captive. And, it, and Joshua and the people had to drive them out, but they had help. They weren't alone. That, in that same chapter, that's when God says, Moreover, the Lord will send the hornets among those who are left and hidden from you until they are destroyed. Okay, so these that's, this is the job of the hornets. One of the jobs. So cool. I know. Okay, now I'm let's so read. Now let's, I know. Because so they're here. They're here. They're back. Okay, now I'll read Exodus 23, 28. Uh, right. That's 23, 23, 23, 20. 23. Oh, okay, so right there. Read that, that one. one. Okay. Uh, Exodus 23, 28, and I will send hornets before you, which shall drive out the Hit Hivite, Canaanite, Hittite from before you. Yeah, okay, right, from before you. Now check this. So we send, God says, I'll send out the hornets before you, which shall drive out the Canaanite, Hittite. The Canaanite and the Hittites are the guys that have possession of what? The, the promised, promised land. land. God sends them. Before us, before us, as we're crossing over to take possession, That's right. to what? Drive them out. Now, this is, when you read back to verse 23 in that chapter, it says, When my angel goes before you and brings you to the Amorite, Hittite, Pezrite, Canaanite, Hivite, Jebusite, I will reject them and blot them out, and I will send my terror before you, throw into confusion all the people to whom you shall come, and I will make your foes turn from you in flight, and I will send the hornets before you to drive out. These angels, these beings, they're supernatural beings. They actually drive out the enemies from our promised land. With terror. With terror. Oh, there's another verse, and that's what we're going to read next. I love yes. this. Now I'll read Joshua 24, verses 12 and 13. Go ahead. I sent the hornet. That is the terror of you. Repeat it. I sent the hornet. That is the terror of you. Repeat it. I sent the hornet. <laughs> that is the terror, terror of, of you. you. Go. Before you. Before you. That's right. Which drove the two kings of the Amorites out before you. But it was not by your sword or by your bow. Wow. 
It right? was by and the Lord's. That's right. Terror. It's the the Lord's sword. The Lord's, Lord's angelic host. That's right. Oh my gosh! I love how it says. That is the terror of you. They actually, you ever see somebody when a bee comes out of nowhere and people go, oh my God, a bee, ha, oh, a bee, they're a freaking bee. Out. and they do this. That's what it looks like when the hornets go. They put the terror of us they, in them. People and demonic spirits actually start going, oh no, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. And it's, they're filled with terror. They're filled with terror. It's like with the bee, oh, no, oh my God, oh my God. And they're running for their life. Yeah, like think of the time that you've been the worst afraid in your whole life. And it's like a hundred times more than that. Exactly. That they're filled with terror. Yeah. And I love how it says the terror of you, meaning th these hornets put the terror of Francie, of Katie, of people that are watching. They put the terror of you on the enemy. So the enemy's going, oh my God, they're going to come get me. We got to get out of here. We got to get, we got to evacuate. We got to evict. We got to leave this promised land. It belongs to them. We leave it behind. Go, go. We're leaving. You can have it. You can have it. It's not worth this terror. They actually put the terror of us on them. And I love the next verse. It says, for I have given you a land for which, oh, this is so good. Read it for me. Verse 13, do you see I it? I have given you a land for which you did not labor mm. and cities you did not build mm. and you dwell in them. You eat from the vineyards and the olive yards and you did not plant. Do you see that? It says he sends the angels to put the terror of the kings to drive them out. It happens not by our sword, but by these by the Lord. beings, by the Lord and these sending these beings, the hornets. And then what happens? Then you get the land for you, that you did not labor, the city that you did not build, the, the, the vineyard you did not plant, the olive yard you did not plant. This is big. It is big. And so this is what like the past, especially the past couple of days when we're, since we've been talking about doing mm -hmm. this and we're in such a crazy time oh in the world everywhere. Yeah. It's craziness everywhere. Yeah. Right. And so God is just, he's stepping up and he's showing himself so clearly yeah. and he's giving us revelation that we've never experienced before. Mm. We have to step into it and we have to be willing to go there, but he is filling us with revelation that we need in this hour to deal with the things that we need to deal with. Mm. And I think it's so powerful and incredible. I'm so excited about it. And plus we, he's doing stuff that so we can realize we're not alone. Hello, we're not alone, guys. We keep on feeling this overwhelming pressure like this war is too big. It's too much. No matter how much we fast, no matter how much we pray, no matter how much we war, you know, we're not going to be able to break through. We're exhausted. We can't do it. And but this it adds a whole new lightning of the load, a whole new revelation of, wow, we're fighting back. We're not in this war by ourselves. That's right. We've got more is with us than it's with them. Yes. That's what Elijah said to, Eli to the servant, right? Mo Elisha said to the servant, we have angelic help. And, you know, even like Tim Sheets, Dutch Sheets' brother and all mm -hmm. that, has been prophesying that the angel gate is open and so that there good. are massive angels being released into the nation and the nations in this hour because we cannot do it with our fasting and prayer and our warfare. We need the strength. That's right. It says that they are angels are mighty and strong before God, right? And we need their strength. And I'm telling you what, there's different categories of angels. Different. That, remember what the Bible says in Revelation, that tens upon 10,000 upon 10,000 of angels minister to God in, in the throne room. Yes. So there's not just one kind of angel. There's not, there's Michael, there's Gabriel, there's messenger angels. There's, the, you know, there's different angels, there's different categories. And this is a category of the angelic, of a supernatural being. Yes. Right. Okay. So look, I, and speaking of like having it be easy. Let me tell you about another vision I had. So after the first original visitation of the Hornets, uh -huh. right, I had a couple more of them. One night, it was September the 7th, many, many years ago, I had a dream I was being attacked by a bear. You know, Goli um, David, you know, took out the bear, took out the lion, took right. out Goliath, right? I was being attacked by a black bear, and everyone was telling me, throw rocks at it like David. <laughs> throw rocks at it like David, because David would take out, 
You know, he said, I took out the lion and I, took, and I snatched the sheep from the lion's mouth and I took down the bear. And now I'll take out this uncircumcised Philistine. Right. So they were saying, throw rocks at it in my dream like Goliath. So I was thinking in this dream, I can't do it. I'll try. He's, you know, I, I don't think I'd be able to hit him strong enough to take him down. So in this dream, and I was under massive warfare at the time, I flung this rod, and it was almost like he throw like a girl. <laughs> like one of those it things. It right? plink. Plink, right. But when it did, what happened was I threw like this lame girl throw, and you wouldn't know that because you're a baseball <laughs> champ, actually. When I threw it like a lame it bounced off the ground, and it went up, and it hit a hornet's nest. <gasps> and the hornet started swarming out of the nest and swarmed the bear, and it, the bear ran for its life. That's awesome. Is that awesome? Yes. Yeah, I'm decreeing right now that even your lamest attempts right now, <laughs> okay, to throw a rock at the giant to take him out, to sling a stone at the giant. Even if they miss the giant, it's gonna bounce off and hit a hornet's nest, and it's gonna release a swarm of hornets. Right now, I decree it, right now. The swarm of the supernatural beings called the hornets to drive your enemies out of your promised land, to find those that are left behind and hidden, drive them out of their hidden space, and put the terror of you on the enemy right now in Jesus' name so you can take a hold of land that you didn't buy, houses you didn't build, wells you didn't dig, vineyards, you didn't plant in the name of Jesus right now. So good. I know. 